Have you ever wanted to add a custom item into Minecraft? Sometimes people would rather die than want to make a mod and code their item into the game. But what if I told you, you don't have to use mods or data packs to get your custom item. What happens if I told you the only thing you would need is Optifine? Let's just start simple. We'll just start off with a diamond sword. Now. What do we want with this diamond sword? We want to turn this diamond sword into a ruby sword. So, now I shall show you how to do this. So, um, number one, I'll go to one of the websites that I go to the most. And I'll call it, most likely, to be Nova Skin. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click Resource Pack Creator wherever it is when you go to Nova Skin. You're going to want to click Items. And we're just going to search up the item that we want. It'll be Diamond Sword. Now here's the thing. This is this is more of an older texture, but I'll take it anyways. So now we have our texture, but to make it more easier for us, I don't want to draw the whole thing out like this and that and that. I'm going to make this a bit easier with the use of this. Over here, we can change things like the hue, which I would say is pretty helpful in a situation like this. And you can also change other things, which could be very useful, depending on what you have. So, I'll go with something like this. However, I'm going to take some things first. So, I'll start off by taking these colors here, so I can remake the default stick. Also going to get this one right. There we go. Next, we're going to change the ones that I need. So we're going to change it to something around something like this. This looks good. Next, we're going to add these the textures that we added in earlier. So like this. Now we have our stick and we have our texture. We just need to click Save, Download and then put it in our folder for later, of course. So we'll just download this for now. Next I'll be showing you the process of download of making your resource pack. So simply we'll just be creating a folder. We'll just be creating a folder which I'll just call and I'll just call it test. In this folder we'll start off by creating a folder called assets. In, the, in this asset folder, we're going to add in another folder called Minecraft. Now inside the Minecraft folder, we're going to have to add this, a folder called Optifine, which is very crucial. And then inside it, we need to add CIT, and next we can add in whatever we want. And here, I'm going to be just adding in, the, I'm just going to add in a, a folder called Sword. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to go and take our file from earlier and we're going to rename it Ruby Sword. Now I'm going now I'm going to copy this and going back here and then pasting it. In here. Now next is the hardest part, I would say. Now we need to make a dot properties file. Now if you don't have the file extensions on, you will have to have it on. So you're going to put in the name of your texture and then dot properties and you're going to have to use a new text file. Once you do this, you're going to have to open it with some sort and I use notepad because I just think of it as notepad. So we're just going to start off by putting type equals item in here and then items equals whatever item that you're going, that the texture is going to be like turned in for. So we're just going to put diamond sword here, and then next we need to do, we need to do a texture swap. So do texture dot ruby sword equals the tex the texture name of the default item in Minecraft. You can actually just go check this using the folders in Minecraft, but I know that it's actually just diamond sword here. Now we need to make it so that which name? We'll just do mbt display dot name equals ipattern. Now, 
iPattern, I don't know the other options, but I feel like iPattern is the best one right now. So we're, now we're just going to make it so that whenever you name an item, Ruby Sword, the Diamond Sword, Ruby Sword, it should work. Now you're just going to want to save this now. But we're not finished yet. What we're going to... However, we're not finished yet. Go back to the first, just go back inside of test where you should see assets. Next, you're going to want to create another text document, but this time the name will be pack.mcmeta. Now, you're going to want to make this openable with whatever text editor you have, and then you're just going to be doing, we're just going to be copying and pasting this right here. I'll leave this in the description for y'all to copy and paste in. And after this, we just put save. Now after this, we're going to want to go back into Minecraft. And we're going to want to click into their resource packs. And then here it is. That's their resource pack. So I'll just add it in. I'll actually just add it in right now. Now, you also need to have all the final salt that was clearly said at the beginning of the video. So, we'll just start off by doing this now. So, all we need to do now is get an anvil and a diamond sword. And we simply need to name this one a ruby sword. And there we go. We got a ruby sword now. Now, this can be, I'm pretty sure this can be replicated in all versions as long as you have Optifine and MC Patchers in that version. Um, I'm not sure which versions have MC Patcher or not, but you can search that off or whatever. But this should work for you, and I'll be putting a lot of the things you'll need in the description, including the, th the code that you'll need to put in and the pack format. But that's it for this video. Because this is the end of the tutorial, and I hope you had a good time with it, because hopefully it works for you. And I literally have a whole texture, I have a whole texture pack, and then I accidentally went onto the world to attempt to recording this video. And accidentally corrupted my world, and ended up losing it forever. So, um, I'm not very happy about that, but I still have the texture pack, so who cares.